Abide in me as I abide in you. Those who abide in me bear much fruit. Today is Sunday, November 15th, 2020. It is the 24th Sunday after Pentecost in the church calendar. Welcome to Good Shepherd Barhaven and thank you for watching. We are an Anglican and a Lutheran church. The service that follows includes prayers and songs and there are subtitles so that you may follow along. I am the Reverend Margot Whitaker. If you'd like to learn more about our church, or if you would like to make a donation, please visit our website, goodshepherdbarhaven.ca. We'll pause for a moment now, and then our service will begin with a land acknowledgement. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. O God, our creator, we acknowledge the Algonquin peoples as the first stewards of this land. Help all who call this land home to honor their legacy and to work for the peace of your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And together we pray, Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. One, two, three, four.
A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, 25, verses 14 to 30. For it is as if a man, going on a journey, summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid. And I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. Well done, good and trustworthy slave, the master said. Well done, good and faithful servant. Other translations have it. Well done. Who doesn't love to hear those words? At the end of your life, do you dream? Do you dream of hearing those words? Do you dream of knowing him as he knows you? and hearing the words spoken by the one who made you, the one who loves you, the one who knows you fully and completely and still and always loves you fiercely. Well done, good and faithful one. For you took what I gave you and held it in trust and you invested it for the good of my kingdom, for the glory of God. You know, we remember some of Jesus' parables, I suppose, because they resonate so closely with us. The one about the prodigal son, maybe that was you. Or a son or a daughter, you're still praying will return. Some parables of Jesus describe the life of faith. Faith like seeds that fall on rocky ground or on fruitful ground. The parable we hear today, the parable of the talents, describes the end times, the end of the world in one sense, and the end in another sense 
as in the intent or the purpose of our lives. Christians have always believed that the world, the universe, time itself are part of God's good creation, made once upon a time out of nothing by God. This creation had a beginning and it will have an end. And in the meantime, we live between the times. And as we await Jesus' final return, how we live our lives has consequences. We have real choices and power with genuine consequences resulting from the way we use our freedom. What we do or fail to do shapes this world and our lives. It's not the only factor, but it is crucial. We want to do well, and we want our lives to have meaning, and sometimes our faith faces huge challenges. Archbishop Linda Nichols, the primate of the Anglican Church of Canada, shared a wonderful message of hope last month. You can hear her uh, express herself. Uh, you can find her video on the Primates page on the Anglican Church of Canada website. That's anglican.ca slash primate. She starts that talk acknowledging that the stability and security of our daily lives is gone. We live in a time when there's no end in sight to the physical distancing we have to do, to the wearing of masks everywhere we go. Research is moving toward creating a vaccine for COVID and then they have to get it into everybody. There's no end in sight. And like the third slave in Jesus' parable, we might let our fear cause us to freeze sometimes. Fear not. God is calling you now. Know that you have much to give and everything you do matters. Every thought you engage, every word you speak, every dollar you spend, every step you take matters. And as the primate reminds us, we stand on the rock that is Jesus Christ. His parable reminds us that God is generous and that whatever is given us, the money, the talents, is meant for us to bear fruit for the kingdom, for the glory of God, and for the salvation of souls. God knows us, our every action, our every intention. And the question asked in the end is not going to be, did you succeed? Not, were you successful? But did you do what you could. In hard times, it's good and right to be gentle with yourself, to practice compassion. You have been blessed with gifts and abilities, and you've been blessed with this opportunity to pray, to turn to God, to get to know Jesus more and more by engaging with the Holy Scriptures, by loving and serving God with our words, with our deeds, with all the talents we've been given. Let us pray, one and all, that we might someday, all of us, hear those blessed words. Well done, good and faithful one. Enter into the joy of your master. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe 
and God the Holy Spirit. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, the, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. A few announcements for you this morning. Our in-person worship continues on Sundays and throughout the week. If you would like to come to a Sunday service, please register in advance at our website, goodshepherdbarhaven.ca, or by calling the office. We'll make sure to save you a seat. Monday through Thursday at 8.30 in the morning, morning prayer is offered here. You're welcome to stop by any one of those services. And this week on Wednesday at 7.30, Compline is offered. Compline is an evening service of prayer that's quiet, contemplative, and all are welcome to attend. Next Sunday is the Feast of the Reign of Christ, also known as Christ the King. That is the last Sunday in the church calendar, which means the week after is the beginning of the new year. The new year begins with the season of Advent, and you'll see some changes to the way our services are done. And some surprises will be rolled out for the Sunday Club kids and families. Some of our small groups are planning some new uh, practices during Advent. Stay tuned. Next Sunday, I'll have some more announcements about what's happening in Advent in the new church year. Our service continues now. One, two, three, four. Prayers of Intercession Longing for Christ's reign to come among us, we pray for the outpouring of God's power on the Church, the world, and all in need. Lord of the Church, ignite your people with the passion of your love. By the fire of your Holy Spirit, unify us across ministries, congregations, and denominations 
and refine us to participate in your activity throughout the world. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord of creation, we stand in awe at the works of your hands and praise you for the beauty of nature. Our Gatineau Hills, our Ottawa Valley, the rivers and streams that abound around us, Algonquin Park, and the marvelous sunsets we have been enjoying lately. Bless the earth for your glory and restore its integrity where exploitation has caused ruin. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord of the nations, sound forth your justice in the ears of all leaders. Increase concern for those who are most vulnerable, especially as international leaders forge trade agreements and cooperate to end human rights abuses. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord of all in need, search out all who cry to you in distress. Scatter the heavy clouds of depression, chronic illness, unemployment, and loneliness with your radiant light. Send us as encouragement and signs of your healing. Hear us, O Lord. Your mercy is great. Lord of the stranger, stir up holy restlessness in us to extend love to those at the margins. Release our desire for control and open us to learn from the perspective of others. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us take a moment in silence and pray for those who are on our hearts today. In addition, we pray for the people of Barhaven, for those we play with, for our families, our friends, for our neighborhood, and for everyone we will meet this week. We pray especially for those who don't know Christ or who don't know him well. Help us to honor what you are doing in their lives and grant us opportunities to tell them of your goodness. We pray too for Indigenous peoples at risk of violence and abuse. Protect those at risk. Bring the violent to justice and restore peace where there is conflict, poverty or indifference. Bring comfort to grieving parents and families and bless those who work for the safety of the vulnerable. Lord of the living and the dead, we give you thanks for all the saints at rest from their labors. Rouse us to live by their example that set the saints yet to come may also know your love. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior until that day when you gather all creation around your throne where you will reign forever and ever. Let us pray. Righteous God, our merciful master, you own the earth and all its peoples, and you have given us all that you have. Inspire us to serve you with justice and wisdom, and prepare us for the joy of the day of your coming. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty, for my soul longs and even faints for you. 
May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Beloved of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.